Terry Francona returns to Boston for the first time since the end of the 2011 season when he separated from the Red Sox. Why this is going to be a very special weekend at Fenway. So the Cleveland Indians come to Boston this weekend for a four-game series, and it'll be the first time that Terry Francona returns to Fenway Park in uniform and on the field with another ball club. Yes, he worked for ESPN last year and returned to Fenway, and he got some nice ovations and some nice signs in the crowd from the fans showing their support for Tito. But this is the first time he'll be in an opposing dugout facing the Red Sox on the field. And I think it's going to be a great weekend as we all get a chance once again to pay tribute to, in my view, the greatest manager in the history of the Boston Red Sox. Now, I know we've talked a lot about Francona, both when he was the manager of this ball club and even when he wasn't. But quite simply, he's the most successful manager in franchise history. He deserves every accolade that the Boston community gives him. And it's all going to come forth, I think, this weekend when the Indians come to Fenway for the four games. And, you know, Francona is just such a classy guy, and that's a big reason why he is so beloved in Boston. Besides all the on-field success, besides being the skipper for two World Series titles and being the first manager in 86 years to win a World Championship, Francona, quite simply, exudes class. You know, he was interviewed on WEEI Radio, the Boston radio station, coming into this series, and he was asked about his thoughts about coming back to Boston to a place where management kind of made him the scapegoat for the collapse in 2011, which is ridiculous because it really didn't have anything to do with Terry Francona. And you know, the first words kind of out of his mouth were that he was excited for the Red Sox and that they had a good ball club this year. They have a good manager in John Farrell, that they have a lot of things in front of them, that his ball club feels kind of the same way that the Indians, that a surprise team in the American League this year. But they also think that they have some good things coming forward for them this year. And just the guy could have took the opportunity at any time since he left in 2011 to take shots at the organization. He did it somewhat in his book, but overall he had a right to do that. But other than that, when he's been on television or he's been on radio, he has not taken any public pot shots verbally against the Red Sox management team. And I think that just shows what a classy guy he is. And again, he deserves to be cheered roundly this weekend, and I think he will be, especially the first game of the series on Thursday night, I think he'll get a tremendous standing ovation. Probably when he makes his first pitching change, he doesn't usually bring the lineup card out to home plate. He never did that really for the Red Sox. Maybe he'll do it as a special occasion on Thursday, the first game of the series, but we'll have to see. But quite frankly, Francona exudes class. Again, he deserves every cheer that he gets this weekend. And to me, his number 47 should be retired in Red Sox history. He deserves it. And he's going to get a great show from the fans this weekend. I'm, I'm very excited about it. I will be attending the Saturday and Sunday games this weekend. So I'm looking forward to seeing Terry on the field and hopefully a great reception from Red Sox fans. So for you guys out there, your thoughts as Terry Francona returns to Boston in uniform for the first time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends about This Week in Red. And don't forget to check out my blog at BosoxInjection.com.